Hello and welcome along to the third video in a four part series revealing my FM20 plans on the channel. Today is the big one as we announce the club will be managing in our one club long term story, replacing the Torquay United safe part of the furniture for FM19 for 2020's edition, which club are we going to be taking on? We'll talk about the club we've picked, we'll discuss why we've picked them, what makes them so appealing for football manager specifically, a similar challenge from the lowest playable league to the top of English in European football but of course there's going to be a few hiccups along the way and I've picked a club whose situation may make things slightly more tricky. We'll also discuss some of the rules we'll be adhering to in this series, mainly self-imposed ones which we have followed in most of our long-term stories and we'll also talk about some of our objectives for this save, what we hope to achieve by the end. We'll talk about the club we're going to be managing in a moment. Of course there are some clues in terms of the colour coding of the video so do get your guesses in early in the comments. I've had this one planned for a number of months so plenty of preparations made for this series and I think we're as prepared as we can be as a result. So I hope you looking forward to it and you will come and join me for the long term story which will start with five episodes a week as soon as the FM20 beat is released. If you are looking forward to it please do put a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to the channel for daily FM20 content including from our FM20 beta save and a number of short term challenges as well. And a quick reminder if you haven't seen our two FM20 plans videos so far, last week we announced the club will be managing in our beta save and the week before was our initial plans video. Now that included an important vote in there. You can pick the second long term story we'll be doing from FM20. There were two choices in there and I wanted to let you guys pick to give something back for your fantastic support. So please do go back and have your say on our FM20 content. You'll be shaping some of the content for the second six months of the cycle. So please do let me know which save you prefer to see. And of course we'll go with the majority by next week. That will be our FM20 plans video next week. The final one in the series before the beta's released. We'll be discussing the result of that poll and choosing our second long term save for the channel which will start once the January transfer updates released. But I think we've talked about what we need to enough now. Let's just get in and see who we're going to be managing. I'm giving it away early this time. The badge will be up on the next screen. So there's not too much of a waiting game this time. We're going to talk about the club and why we've picked them. So we are going to be managing Dorking Wanderers in our FM21 club story. That much I can confirm. They were promoted last season and we'll talk about that a bit more in a moment. And there's a reason this club's so appealing to us. I really wanted to manage them but I was just waiting to see if they got over the line last year but in the end they did win the Isthmian League title and as a result are now in the National League South. So we'll be starting in the same league as we did with Torquay last year though of course Torquay were promoted in real life so we won't be coming up against them early in this save but I thought after last year where we went for Torquay the season obviously started very well and we were able to get a bit of momentum earlier in the save so I wanted to pick a club that were more likely to be towards the bottom of the league to make that challenge in the early seasons that little bit more difficult. So we will be managing Dorking Wanderers and we'll have five episodes a week every day except from Tuesday and Saturday at the normal time of 4.30. I discussed the reasons for that a couple of weeks ago so do go back to our initial plans video if you want to know the reasons for that in detail. The goal is of course very simple, try and get to the top of English and European football. We want to win the Premier League and Champions League with the team nickname Wanderers so fingers crossed we'll be able to do that even though that initial challenge will be a bit more difficult. So the first question you might be asking on this screen is why have we picked Dorking Wanderers specifically? And we're going to discuss that in a little bit of detail now actually. The main reason is they are the real life football manager team effectively. We all want to take clubs from the lowest levels and go on a big road to glory to the top. And Dorking Wanderers were only formed 20 years ago, back in 1999. They've had 11 promotions in 19 years, coming from the 17th tier in English football all the way up to the 6th now in the National League South. They're in a playable league for the first time and they just moved into a new stadium a year ago and that poses an interesting challenge for this story actually. Of course you can only request a new stadium every 25 years and that's been the case in all the previous football managers so if that's the case we won't be able to get one for 24 years and that's of course meaning we're going to have a two or three thousand seat a stadium which of course may have a little bit of expansion potential but we won't be able to change all the way to the top. They're managed, owned and founded by the same man, Mark White. That is, of course, until now. We'll be taking the reins for Dorking Wanderers in FM20 and trying to guide Mark White's side to the top. He'll still be the owner, presumably, in-game, so fingers crossed he'll support us and back us financially. 
And with Dorking Wanderers making it 11 promotions in 19 years, we're going to be chasing five more, trying to make it to the Premier League and chasing the dream at the top of English football, and hopefully we'll be able to fulfil that in our time. So I hope you can see why it's such an interesting challenge and why I've been attracted to it so much. The new stadium thing really is the one for me. We may have to make it to the top of English football in a 3,000 seater stadium and that could be a really incredible challenge, something I can't wait to get my hands on. And in addition to those factors which are going to make it more difficult, we do have our usual self-imposed rules too. So the rulebook is as follows, no use of the player search or staff search screen, that's the same as both of our long-term stories in FM19, and of course different to our FM20 beta save, where we want to see what's possible with a club on a small budget. Realistic protection of the club finances is important too, we've got to prevent money troubles on the way up, of course with this club only being 20 years old, they do have a relative small fan base they of course don't have those generations of support over the years so we are going to have to try and build that ourselves and win over a whole new generation of fans and turn them into Dorking Wanderer supporters of course the main thing we've mentioned is the ground restrictions we've got to try and reach the Champions League with this poxy little ground unless there's been a change to the factors in the FM20 rulebook we're not going to be able to get a new stadium till at least 2043 and that would be 24 years into the save probably somewhere near the end of it now moving attention on from the club to the series more generally, we are going to run our video slightly differently in this story and that's based on feedback I've had from you guys over the last year. So what we're going to try and do is have slightly shorter regular episodes featuring a live commentary as always of course and the important news since the last video, recent results, transfers etc. The only real exception to that should be episode 1 in each season where we'll of course have our summer transfer special and reflect on all the ins and outs at the club each summer of course in non-league it's impossible to make that short as it's normally 10 or 15 players going either way but generally we will try and keep them to 15 to 20 minutes rather than 20 to 25 which we were doing last year and then at the end of the season we'll do a separate longer review episode where we'll talk about every season in detail discuss the running of the club off the field matters in a bit more detail so things like our youth academy mentoring which we used to feature in one of our regular episodes we're now now going to do that all as a big bulk at the end of the season and have slightly shorter regular episodes each year so for those of you that just want to see how we're doing on the pitch to come along and follow each season you'll have slightly shorter videos which you'll be able to follow each day containing all the content you want to see and for those of you who want to see how the club's running more generally find out a bit more detail about the save you can come along and watch an extended episode at the end of the season and the idea for that comes from a couple of youtubers i follow quite regularly to Golden FM and Second Yellow Card who both do similar things at the end of each season. So I'm going to go for that style based on the feedback I've had from some of you guys and I think I'll probably enjoy it more as well. I'm less likely to try and rush the things I'm talking about and hopefully it'll give a better insight into the way I play the game. We want to make our career as successful as possible and I think that's going to help to do that. And then finally that end of season review video of course will be a work in progress. It's a completely new style of video for me but I want to try and incorporate as much interactive content as possible so a supporters player of the season vote in the eye above and depending on the situation of the save possible other votes as well so the chance for you to get involved with certain things in the comment sections we might do a QA and a section in there for comments we've received across the season just for me to be able to respond almost as if it was a press conference and then if we've got a summer where we may have to choose between one or two players to leave the club or one or two positions we can improve, I might put those out to a vote as well just to try and keep it as interactive as possible for those of you that are following along regularly. Of course I know some YouTubers are very good at the story idea of it, making brilliant skits with themselves involved as the club, but that's not really my forte so it would be absolutely awful to watch if I tried it. I really am a football fan from top to bottom level. For example, I'm recording this and releasing this on non-league day and I'm out watching a game at step 7 of non-league football so my passion and love of football at all levels is the thing I view as my strength so we will try and use those episodes to go into a bit more detail and talk about the running of the club more extensively rather than just focusing on the story itself. 
So I hope that will excite some of the regular viewers more and of course make it a bit easier for you to follow on a daily basis. For those of you that just want to see how we're getting on on the pitch, hopefully that will be a bit easier with slightly shorter episodes. So I can't promise that will be stuck to every single day, but it is generally what we're looking to do. Of course it will be dictated slightly by our board and director of football, who could make things tricky along the way for us. So let me know your thoughts on that down in the comments. Of course as we mentioned this story will start as soon as the FM20 beaters released we will have five episodes a week and the other two days will be our fm20 beta save we've got loads of short-term challenges planned as well so i'm really looking forward to all of those and if you are too let me know your thoughts in the comments and subscribe for daily fm20 content seven days a week we'll have videos on the channel the most we've ever had from fm20 and i really can't wait to get started now so i'm just impatiently waiting for the beta to be released if you did enjoy this video and are looking forward to the door in Wanderer series, please do put a thumbs up on the video, and I hope you'll join me for the start of a wandering dork, which will be coming to the channel towards the end of next week. Join me next Saturday for the results of the FM20 poll. We'll be choosing our second long-term FM20 story based on the results of the poll in the initial FM20 plans video. So if you haven't had your say yet, do go back and cast your vote, and of course find out what we've got planned on the channel. But a massive thanks for watching this one as always, and you'll continue to of the series of channel and I hope you're looking forward to FM20 as much as I am and this long-term story with Dorkin Wanderers.